What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And here I am with the Google Pixel 2 XL. And many of you may know, but we just got Android 9. Pi SP stands for Pi. So it looks like the goal of Android P is to take what's already really good and streamline it, make it easier to use. And that's the whole idea of swiping on the home button. So when swiping on the home button, you're gonna be able to perform three functions with it. And that's all in one button. So we're looking at minimalism here. We're looking at streamlining things, making things easier to get to. Now this is going to change this little bar at the bottom here. When you enable this feature, instead of having these three icons here, you're only gonna have two. So the goal of this video is to show you how to enable the features on the Pixel phone and show you how they work and then just give you my thoughts on it. So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's get into it. So I booted up the screen recorder here as I'm talking, I'm actually doing this stuff. So what we're going to do is jump into settings first. We're gonna swipe up on the phone here and we're gonna scroll down to settings until we see them and we're gonna select them. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on system and then we're gonna click on gestures and then we're gonna see here, swipe up on home button. We're gonna to wanna to turn that on. So we'll click on that and then we'll click the slider. It'll change from gray to blue, just like that. And as you see, our bar at the bottom of the phone here, it's going to change. We're going to be missing that one button there to the far right. We're only gonna have the middle button there and the button to the far left. So what this gives you is a more minimalist design here and you can kind of see how this is going to work by the displayed image here. It's kind of showing you in work. You have someone swiping up there. So I just started getting into this today and just like anything else when you use it for the first time, it seems really weird. It, it just doesn't seem like a good idea. But I went ahead and started using it, just forced myself to, and I'm actually really liking it. So as you can see here, when you swipe up once, it's going to show your recent apps. And when you swipe up again, it's going to show you the apps tray. Now the reason I love this feature is if you swipe up and you select an app, and then you swipe to the right, it's going to switch to the most recent app outside of this one. And it just happens really quick. And actually, as you see here, I've got my shopping list open and my calculator. I like to add up things while I'm shopping to stay within my budget. And that's where this was really nice. Now, if I can be honest, I can say that I thought doing this was going to take a lot more time to get used to, but I've only been using it today and I could tell you I caught on really quick and I really love it. I love the quick switching. Of course, at first I thought having things be more minimal, having three functions in one button, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too much but I actually like that it's streamlined. If you don't know, I'm a minimalist, and even I thought that this was gonna be like too much going on in one button, but it actually seems fine. So the learning curve is really quick. It's really easy. You'll probably be used to it in a few hours, and you can always go back to the old way. Now, the other thing is when you do update to Android 9 Pi, this feature isn't turned on right away. You actually have to go into the menu and turn it on. So you can always just stick with the old way, or you can go into the settings as we showed there, and you can turn it on. So Android 9 is here, it's Pi, it sounds yummy. This feature here is just one of many, I'm sure, and I haven't really digged into everything yet. But as for this feature alone, I can tell you I am definitely gonna be using it. Uh, again, at first I was skeptical, but I'm really liking it for just getting things done faster and just accessing things a little bit better on the phone. So what I wanna know is, do you have Android 9? running on your Android phone? Are you running pie, that delicious dessert? What kind of pie is it anyways? But anyways, that aside, I wanna know what you think about this feature and are you going to be using it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just interested to see what other people think. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. 
Again, this channel, it is influenced by the people watching. So giving me feedback lets me know where I should go with the channel. Now, I also do unboxings of gadgets and that kind of thing. Something I'm trying to do more of. So I do have videos about that kind of stuff. I've actually got a playlist, but I also have an Amazon storefront. So I'm going to try to link those things in the description below if you want to check those out. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. That also helps out, again, supports the channel, lets me know that if people are subscribing, they're liking what they're seeing, and it's always appreciated. And until next time, Leon checking out.